What's going on, good folks? It's your boy Kenny K all day, every day. Back at it again, man. Um, my goal objective for the day is to take off the um, AC condenser dryer. It's like a miniature radiator. And supposedly, it filters out any metallic flakes or any kind of contaminants within the um, refrigerant line, I guess, or in the fluid line or whatever fluid line it is. Um, speculating it's the uh, refrigerant, the Freon. Um, and I read this up on a forum because I wound up spending $7,000 to get the AC compressor replaced. $7,000. And the AC compressor lasted for about a month. One month. And it went out. Again. Took it back to uh, the repair shop. And they told me, well, we can't honor our warranty on the part. Because something else caused it. There's nothing wrong with the part. Something wrong with your car. And even if we put a new one on here. It's just going to go back out in another month. Because... It's got metallic flakes within the Freon line or in the cooling line. And supposedly that stuff gets into the... Supposedly. It gets into the AC compressor. But in, after doing research, I discovered that a lot of people are saying that if your, your AC condenser has gone bad, it either gets stopped up and won't allow the refrigerant to go through the line. Uh... Which is not good for the AC compressor because it's, it's working. It's not receiving any fluid flowing through it while it's spinning. Um, it just can't be good. So on on some forms that I I found I found that uh, the AC condenser dryer, if it's gone bad, uh, replacing that sometimes fix your problem. Is a is a solution to your problem because it it cleans the line from any contaminants going into the AC compressor and damaging it. So here we are today um, trying our hand at replacing the AC condenser. Um, and I'm going to show you guys what I did so far. Um, it's a funny situation. The AC condenser See right here? You can see it. It's right there. Right at the tip of my finger. See those little... See the grill? That's the AC condenser. And obviously, this flap right here, supposedly, it comes up. Okay? It comes up, and it seems like it should just come up and give you the opportunity to slide it right out. But unfortunately, it doesn't seem like it actually works that way. Because what I'm dealing with is this big metal plate that runs from here all the way to back there in order to get that off got to take off the from what I was told by the forums is that you got to take that off got to take that off in order to gain access to and take this light plate off take this light light uh, light fixture out in order to remove that so that you can gain access to this and that's what I'm doing right now so so far I've gotten as far as as you can see I took off the wheel wheel, wheel well um, so that I can because there's bolts that, that go along the bottom here and of course there's one two three four then you got a set of bolts that go along the bottom of this side, and that's what I'm doing right now. I'm actually taking the bumper off. Yeah. Taking the bumper off. Um, in order to take the bumper off again, you have to go one, two, uh, three. There's one back there, and there's a couple up here that looks like this. And one, two of them don't look like that. They're just kind of screw-offs like bolts or something. But nonetheless, I'm going to do this and 
try to get this thing done because they say it takes about four hours to get this thing done um so yeah i'll catch up y'all i'll catch up with y'all in a few